Hello everyone. Today I'm back with the part 2 of explaining the blending modes. In the last part, we have talked about the darken and lighten section. Today we're going to talk about the contrast section. I wanted to include the rest of the blending modes as well, but that would be too much information to take in one go. Before I start talking in depth, Let's talk about how the contrast section works. This section is a combination of the darken and lighten section blending modes. So it's very important that you watch the part 1 to understand it better because I'm going to mention those two sections a lot in the video and you won't be able to grasp it if you don't know how those blending modes work. Important thing to note that I'm going to refer the portrait layer as the base layer and the blending mode layer as the blend layer. So now without further ado let's start with the overlay mode. This mode is a bit special than the rest. The change of the color happens based on the color of the base layer. But in case of the rest of the modes the color change is based on the color of the blend layer one exception is the hard mix mode that is based on both blend and base layer but we're going to talk about it later so the overlay mode multiplies or screens depending on the color of the base layer if the color of the base layer is dark then it will make it darker Similarly it will make the lighter part even more lighter so the contrast of the picture automatically increases the best thing about this layer mode is it does not make any changes to the highlighted or the really dark shadow parts like you can see the dark hair and the lightest parts on the face remained intact This is one of the very important blending modes and it's one of my very favorite ones as well. I use it a lot to enhance the color of my artworks. Next up, we have soft light which darkens or lightens the color based on the color of the blend layer. If the color we apply is brighter than 50% gray, then the overall color will be lighter and similarly if the color is less than 50% gray the overall color will be darker let's take a look how it works you can see the color i have chosen is at 80% brightness so it brightened the overall color Now the color is at 20% brightness. So depending on the brightness percentage of the blend layer, the overall brightness of the base layer changes. Now we have the hard light mode, which is nothing but the harsher version of soft light. Soft light darkens or lightens the color, but hard light multiplies or screens the color based on the brightness of the blend color it almost works like overlay but it does not preserve the highlights or the shadow as you can see depending on the brightness of the blend color it behaves either like multiply or like screen Next, we have vivid light, which is nothing but the combination of color burn and color dodge. It decreases the overall contrast if the brightness of the blend color is more than 50%. And by doing that, it makes the overall color lighter. It does the exact opposite when the color is darker than 50%. Now let's see how it works. 
you have to always modify the intensity of this blending layer to make it look better. As the name suggests, Linear Light is the combination of Linear Burn and Linear Dodge. It's actually very simple to understand. If the brightness of the color of the blend layer is more than 50%, then it will increase the overall brightness and vice versa. So let's apply the colors. Once again, you have to always modify the intensity of the colors to make it work because these blending modes can easily be super harsh if you keep it as it is. Now we have a layer which replaces the color of the base layer depending on the brightness of the blend layer. If the blend color is brighter than 50% then it will be replacing all the darker areas and if the brightness is less than 50% then it will replace all the lighter areas with the blend color. As you can see the more you increase the brightness of the blend color the more it replaces all the darker areas. And also, the more you decrease the brightness of the color, the more it replaces all the lighter areas, eventually turning the entire art into black. Finally, we have the most peculiar layer of all, hard mix. The color change depends on both the blend and the base layer. It introduces the RGB value in the resultant colors. Now what is this RGB value? You can see it when you click on the color wheel. The minimum value is 0 and the maximum value is 255. When all the values are 0, the color becomes black. And similarly, when all the values are 255, the color becomes white. So if I only increase the value of the green to the maximum, then it will be purely green without any hue of red or blue. The hard mix layer exactly does the same thing. It calculates and sums up the RGB value of the blend layer color and the base layer color. So the resultant colors will always have the RGB value of either 255 or 0, nothing in between. So what you are going to see is a super saturated version of red, green or blue and maybe completely black or white. I know this is a complicated concept to grasp but I think if I give you a demonstration, you will understand it better. Now that I have dropped the pink color on the art, I will color pick and show you the value of it. As you can see, the value of the green is at 0 and the value of blue and red is at 255. So whatever color you add here, the heart mix will always sum up the values to make it either 255 or 0. This is a very harsh change so if you want to apply this effect in your art you must decrease the intensity or it's just going to hurt your eyes and you don't want that. So, before ending the video, we need to talk about some important things because I know there were 
too many informations and you need to remember the most important ones. The first point is the brightness of the color, especially the color of the blend layer. Depending on the brightness or darkness of the color, the changes will occur in the result. Secondly, you need to understand the blending modes of darken and lighten section fully to understand how the contrast part works because it's a combination of both. And finally, these are some important things that you also always need to look up for. The saturation of the color, the choice of the color, as in which color suits your art better, and the intensity of the blend layer. So that is all you need to remember along with the information I have provided for each blending modes. And I'm hoping that after watching this, you will be able to produce artworks with interesting colors. So that's it for today's video. I hope it would be helpful for all the beginners out there and also to the ones who are interested about blending modes. The third and the final part of the blending mode explanation will be up soon. So please look forward to it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week. Till then, take care.